Hello, welcome. So today we're going to look at the AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT and the rumored pricing that's currently out there on the internet as well as being discussed by other YouTubers. And I think the pricing is actually a little bit high. So what I've done in this video is to uh, look at some other alternatives, look at three other graphics cards that you can consider as well. Um, because they're either going to be similar in price or they're going to be lower in price but have the same performance. Okay, so if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And we also have a Discord server, so come along and join us there and I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, let's jump straight into this article and this article is from Video Cards. The headline is AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT to launch in August and you can see in the slide at the bottom, the performance of this card is roughly about a 5700 XT and 1080 Ti plus or minus 5%. Now I've already done a video on the specs of the RX 6600 XT and the performance is likely gonna get, so make sure to go and check that video out. Uh, I watched it last night and it holds up pretty well because the specs haven't changed. Um, and I go over like the performance of this card in games at 1080p. So go and check that out if you're interested in the performance of the RX 6600 XT. Uh, now, Cortex has also said that it's going to be likely to be around $399. So that puts it in the range of like a 3060 Ti. And the 3060 Ti is actually a bit better uh, card than the 6600 XT. But um, let me go and talk about the specs of the 6600 XT. Uh, in the AMD lineup first of all and as you can see the RX 6600 XT it has a uh, 2048 cores now this translates to 32 compute units the 6700 XT actually has 40 compute units and the RX 6800 has 60 compute units I just find it easier to think about it in those terms because then you can uh, divide that easily and think about the performance in that way and the 6600 XT has roughly about 20% less performance than the 6700 XT. So um, this is a card that's a, a, I guess a class lower than the 6700 XT and you can see that clearly in the memory bus as well. So in the memory bus the RX 6800 is 256 bit, the 6700 XT is 192 bit and the 6600 XT is 128 bit, and that translates into the memory bandwidth that you can see there on the screen as well. So this has half the bandwidth of the RX 6800, and I think uh, these cards are pretty much basically, uh, the RX 6800 is a 4K card, and the 6700 XT is a 1440p card. The, 16, the 6600 XT is a 1080p card, and I think if you're thinking about other resolutions, uh, then you should probably get one of those other cards. This is mainly a 1080p card. Okay, I want to talk about three other cards that you can get as an alternative to the RX 6600 XT. And the three cards here are the RTX 3060 Ti, the RTX 3060, and the AMD RX 5700 XT. Now, there are two NVIDIA cards and one AMD card, and that's because uh, these are the cards that are currently available at new uh, if you go to retailers. That's why I picked them. Uh, I, it's not because I want you to go get an NVIDIA card over an AMD card. Uh, so these are just whatever's cards available right now as new. Now there are also other used cards that you could get. You could get a GTX 1080 Ti, you could get an RTX 2070. So uh, there are lots of other used cards that you could also get. Um, but I want to talk about new cards that you could just go to a retailer and get. Now the first card I want to talk about is the RTX 3060 Ti and this is really in the class of an RX 6700 XT. Now that card is $479. So really these two cards are in a different class level. Um, but the reason why it was priced at $399 is because it launched back in December 1st, 2020. So it didn't really take advantage of the cryptocurrency boom and the market prices at that time. So this was priced more in line with the RTX 3070 at the time. And this was effectively uh, RTX 3070 defective dies that didn't quite make it as a 3070, so they decided to sell as a 3060 Ti. Uh, so it has about 10% less performance than the 3070. Uh, if the 3060 Ti and the 6600 XT are the same price, and if they ever fell back to MSRP, uh, and it's possible because there could be a flood of these GPUs coming in soon, uh, 
then this is obviously the car to get. You wouldn't bother about the 6600 XT. This is much better performance than the 6600 XT. Okay, the next card I wanna talk about is the RTX 3060. And this card has roughly the same performance as the 5700 XT. So it's pretty much in the same class as the 6600 XT. And if everything falls back to MSRP, well, this ends up being cheaper by about $70. So this would probably be the card to get. Plus, I will also say this has a higher bus width, uh, memory bus width than the RX 6600 XT. This has a 192 bit memory bus and has 384 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth. So higher memory bandwidth. So I think this is gonna age better than the, uh, the uh, 6600 XT. So if these two cards were added available on the market, if this is cheaper, then I would go for this card. So the third card I wanna talk about is the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. Now this card is similar to the RX 6600 XT in terms of rasterization performance, but the RX 6600 XT will have ray tracing, whereas this card won't. And that's probably all you're gonna lose out. I wouldn't worry so much about the 32 megabytes of infinity cache on the RX 6600 XT, because that's gonna be compensated by the uh, memory bandwidth that the 5700 XT has. So this has a much higher memory bandwidth. Uh, it's memory bus width is 256 bits. So I think this memory bandwidth will be about 448 gigabytes per second. And uh, the 6600 XT has a lot lower memory bandwidth. So that's clearly a 1080p card. Whereas this, this might get used uh, a little bit better 1440p performance because of that higher memory bandwidth. The decision uh, comes down to, well, do you want ray tracing or not? And I'm not sure it's worth bothering about on a 6600 XT, given that it's gonna cost you rasterization performance anyways. I don't think it's worth turning on low to medium ray tracing settings and getting a much lower frame rate because of that. So I think uh, in terms of ray tracing, you're better off getting one of those Nvidia cards uh, rather than on the RX 6600 XT if you must have ray tracing. Okay, so we're in the browser now. So I just quickly want to check on the market prices of these cards. We've talked about the MSRPs already, but uh, it's going to really be about the market prices of these cards anyways. And I think the RTX 3060 Ti, you're not gonna find it at RX 6600 XT levels anyway, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how much extra it's gonna cost you, uh, at least for the time being. It may very well be MSRP level later, but uh, right now you're looking at about $1,000 for a 3060 Ti. And I think miners are still really interested in this card at the moment. And so that's why it's still priced pretty much as high as a 3070. Uh, if we look at the RTX 3060, you're looking at around $700 for an RTX 3060. And this is pretty much the price you're gonna pay for the RX 6600 XT, in my opinion. Now, in terms of the RX 5700 XT, there really isn't enough prices on StockX to uh, to uh, decide whether that is actually the price. Uh, it says here it's $865, but I think we're better off looking at eBay prices for the RX 5700 XT. Um, so we're gonna take a quick look at these eBay prices. And as you can see, these are the sold listings for the RTX 3060 Ti. And it's looking like it's about 900 to 1000 dollars for an RTX 3060 Ti at the moment. The uh, RTX 3060 is looking like, again, at about $700. So the StockX prices are pretty much in line with the eBay prices at the moment. Now the RX 5700 XT, this card, the prices are a bit all over the place. So uh, you'll see some prices at $500 and then some prices at $1,000. This card is still being priced because of its mining performance, I think this card has 60 mega hash a second. So it's being priced like an RTX 3070, but uh, you could probably look around and see if you can find a deal. There are some like cards that are around $500. Uh, like for example, this card here, uh, though it seems like a lot of the cards are being priced at around $800. But I think if you were to buy it new, it'd probably be around that 3060 Ti range at the moment. And it's probably not worth it, given that you should just go and buy that 3060 Ti or a 3070 anyway. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this one. Let me know what you think about the pricing for the 6600 XT in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.